Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode we're going to be finishing up this 2015 911 Turbo. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, please subscribe because it helps me more than you can know. That thousand subscriber mark seems pretty far off in the distance, but I think I can get there with your help. Also check me out on Instagram at Glenn V. Gibson. You can see some of the past work I've done that I didn't make videos about. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. for some reason on Porsches I can't find the paint codes on all the cars I checked all of the normal spots on this car can't find them I have access to a computer that I can look it up so I won't do that now and I'll show you how I do it but if you do not have access to that computer you can call any local Porsche dealership tell them the VIN and look up the paint code and they'll tell you the paint code I've done enough of these where I'm 99% sure it's CA9 I'm gonna go verify that on the computer and if my computer doesn't verify that for me for this year model and this uh, this car then I will uh, call Porsche so here we go I'll show you how I do that now all right so I have access to a computer here let's uh, start the search standard now normally you would type in the paint code here but I'm not sure that it's the exact paint code that I need I, I've got a good idea what it is so we're gonna go into the manufacturers we're going to start typing uh, P-O, that gives us, if you want to continue, the year, let's go to 2015, and the description, we're going to do white, and search. Alright, so that gives us only one for that year, and it is CA9, so we're going to click on continue. And there are two variants. Looks like there's a prime and a yellower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the prime. No, the prime. Maybe. There we go. Let's hit continue. So we're going to here it's a SA1 13561. So here's the SA1 book. It's 13. This is going to be this one. I'm going to pull it out. Let's start flipping through till we find them. Thirteen five sixty one. There's going to be two here. There's the yellow one and the standard. So we're going to take these two chips. I'm going to grab my sunlight gun. So you saw me wiping down the panel. Basically, what I was trying to achieve is to make sure that the the panel is clean and not dingy. Sometimes with white cars, the, over time they'll get dingy. And what I mean by dingy, they just get dirty and you have to get them really clean. Sometimes you actually have to take polish or compound and clean up a spot so that you, when you're, the color you're verifying your chip to is the correct color. It's basically a standard and a yellower formula. So, got the sun gun here. Basically, this is a uh, flashlight that uh, replicates sunlight. So we're going to set this up here. Alright, so looking at the colors with ambient light, it's kind of overcast today, not a lot of sun. So that's when the uh, flashlight comes into handy. You can just check your colors to see which one shows up or disappears best with the original color of the car. So trying to get all the angles, in my opinion, and I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera or not, in my opinion, I like the standard formula the best. All right, so now that we've picked the formula we like the best, the uh, variant, which is the standard, we're gonna go mix that up and get the parts ready to paint. All right, so what this is, I call it a sun gun. Basically, it's just a flashlight that replicates sunlight. Um, sun is the best way to check a color to see if there's any variations because it's the purest form of light. If it's an overcast day like it is today or if, the, uh, if you have the car in the shop or even in the paint booth and you don't have real sunlight, this is the next best thing. And if you check all your colors with this, it pretty much becomes easy. It has two different settings. It has, let's see, there's the first bright, 
and the brighter and it's uh it's rechargeable it's got a magnetic base that'll stick to metal it's got a little clip and a little hanger this thing actually works really well it's a must-have if you're going to try to tint or match colors all right so i picked the variant that i like and i'm pretty confident with the standard the chip looked really good but i want to show you guys what painters have to deal with so we're going to click on this Porsche color go to next now you see there's two variants and those are the two chips I looked at but if you go down here to special vehicles or all specials so special plus vehicles is going to tell you any field formulas look how many formulas there are for this paint code now some of these have vehicles attached to them like a GT3 or a Panamera or there's a Cayenne and it tells you the years so if you have a specific car and you come to these specials plus car you can pretty much narrow it down by that there's nothing on there that says turbo 911 and the same year model so and you can also go to all specials which is basically the same screen but that's how many different formulas there are for C9A when you say it's white it should match not necessarily. So all of these different formulas have been on certain different cars. So every car is not the same. Even though it has the same paint code, it's not the same color. All right, so we've got the bumper guide coated. We're gonna start sanding it with 320 on a block. Um, there was not hardly any repair, just more or less filling chips. So there's no, no reason to get on it with anything super aggressive. We're gonna start with 320 and we're gonna finish off with 600 wet. So here we go. All right, so I like to wash the bumper and I also like to wash the underside and get it really nice and clean so there's no less chances of any dust or dirt to get into the paint. All right, so we've got the parts wiped down. They're all clean. We're gonna get a paint suit on, get this thing tacked off, and start putting some color on there. So. So air movement is your best friend when it comes to flashing off waterborne base coat. The fan helps a lot. They, they make little blowers that you can blow across with. Not enough air pressure to stir up a lot of trash or a lot of dust in the paint booth, but just enough to blow a slight breeze across the panels. Um, it, it is a must to have, especially on days like today when it's 100% humidity and it's raining outside. All right, so this is the clear we're using on the, on the Porsche. It's a DC 3000. And the DCH3095 is the hardener, and it's a 4 to 1 product. You've seen me mix it before on prior videos. It's four parts clear coat, 
one part hardener. No reducer needed. We're gonna get this sprayed on the car right now. Here we go. All right, so we got the spray out card made. It is just based out. We're gonna get some clear on it. And then we'll check it to the car to make sure the color matches. All right, so the color looks pretty good in this light. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but as you can see, it changes with the sunlight. All right, so we got the spray out panel done. It looks good to the car. All the angles look really good, even with the sun gun. So we're gonna get some clear on this bumper and call it a day. It's been a lot longer day than I anticipated. The, uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain in the background, it's 100% humidity. So this waterborne base coat takes a little bit longer to flash off. Actually, a lot longer to flash off. So we're gonna get this done so I can get out of here before it gets too late. Here we go. So I just got the last coat of clear on this bumper. It looks awesome. We're going to let it dry overnight and come in in the morning and reassemble the bumper and put it back on the vehicle and the car will be done. So what's left for tonight is for me to clean out my clear gun, get this paint suit off, and head to the house. We'll see you all in the morning. Pearls of wisdom from an old dirty body man. When we were young and we didn't get no time out. We got a time's up. And then we got our butt beat. All right, so we're at the end of another video. I really thought I was going to be able to get the painting and the reassembly of this Porsche bumper all in one video, but just ran out of time. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, hit the like button. And if you dig in the content, hit the subscribe button. Also, the bell notification will let you know when the next video is coming out. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Butter, 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 butter. Color mixed up. Whoa. Quit kicking the camera <laughs> and get them loaded up. <laughs>